unboxing of the Predator 11,500 watt tri-fuel inverter generator. Hi, I'm Mary, two creature doors. We got a generator because storm season is coming. You might actually hear the wind chime going off because right now we have a rain and windstorm going on. It'll probably cause some flash flooding down the power lines and all sorts of not fun stuff. So why don't you join me while I unbox this generator. The boxing of the Predator 11,500 watt tri-fueled inverter generator which means it produces clean power. On most conventional generators, anything you care about should be on the power strip. This, the power strip's built into the unit. And we're gonna see just how much padding they put in this, just in case you're helping your neighbor install it and you'd like to kick it down the stairs instead of actually carrying it because it's like 400 pounds. Congratulations. You got plywood. Oh, they were smart. They gave us a funnel and a tubey tube. So I'm pretty sure this is for the oil. And it comes with a little accessory box. Ooh, something in a case. Something that rattles in a case. Tool. Spark plug. So I'm guessing there's a spark plug somewhere that I have to put in. So if you'll notice, the, there's a different size between the spark plug socket and the socket they gave you. And that's why it will strip it out, is because this is too big for that spark plug. Um, well, I don't know what the power cable's for. Okay, if the battery is depleted, it will not start with LPG or natural gas. And will only start on gasoline. Looks like what you'd put on for a computer, something small. Ah, comes with a remote start key. <sighs> Propane with regulator. Propane house with regulator. It comes with a quick disconnect in. What do you mean we had to add wheels? There's already wheels on it. He told me we had to put the wheels on and assemble it. It looks to me like there's already an axle with the wheels on it. Get this out of the box. For some reason, I don't think I'm on the generator anymore. Well, I got it out of the box, babe. So, definitely would not recommend dropping this when you're trying to do anything. Ha! Directions! Please note that I am pretty much barefoot. I only have socks on. They're not going to do much to protect my little toes if they get crushed. So this is an 11,000 watt 5 
or an 11,500 watt generator. But that is only starting watts and that's only for gasoline. Running watts on gasoline is 9,000. What we really care about is the running watt watts. But, 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 but. Let me try that again in English. What we really care about is the running watts for propane. And the running watts for propane is 8,100 watts. Which should do pretty much everything but the water heater. Good rule for figuring out wattage on, say, your appliances is you take your amps times your volts, and that equals your watts. So a 100 amp, or a 3 amp, 100 volt appliance requires 300 watts of power. Most of your house outlets are 110 volts, unless it's for your big appliances. So according to this thingamabobber, there are USB ports here. Looks like a USB-C on one and, a re and what I usually think of for a USB, which is the square or the rectangular brick with the tongue. I don't know what it's called, but it's got a nice little cap on it. Um, let's see. Oh look, it'll let you, it'll let you switch. You can do 120 volts only or 120 to 240. That's cool. Hey, here's where the breaker is when we trip it, inevitably. Okay, there's multiple breakers. There's Switch. got a fuse here. I think that's a fuse. It's a reset. Ah, it has several resets. One, two, two resets. They're GFIs. No GFI. It's ground fault resets. Is this not the ground fault reset? That's a ground. That's where the grounding wire goes. Okay. This is our grounding nut to ground the generator because it's on plastic wheels and we don't want to get that. This looks like a fuel selector here. And this is the hookup for the propane and natural gas. These do something. Those are for your pairing. Oh, parallel operation. So apparently, according to these, you can pair up to three other generators with this one. How hard is that to push? Not very hard once you have it on its wheels. You may find that this does not travel well over uneven, bumpy ground. So if you have a soft lawn, this will sink in. Be prepared. Flashing red light. Dangerous levels of carbon monoxide gas have built up. Leave immediate area until it's aired out. Move. Why do you think that they did that? Because people may run this inside of the house. Do not run this inside of the house. So our generator house is outside, not attached to the home. Put the roof on a pivot. So that way we could open up the generator house and walk right into it and work on the generator. If you live in Western Washington and would like us to build a generator house, uh, please comment below. So we have a manual pull start here. Over here, there's a manual pull start right here. Um, in case you drain the battery. Gas only, 10% ethanol blend, okay. OE85. So it's specifying that you must have low ethanol fuel of no more than 10% because in some areas they do 15% ethanol and 85% gasoline. You can't have that. This won't run on it. Uh, oh, I found, I found the engine oil. It does not appear to come with engine oil. There we go. So you can see the little locks here and here. They're a pain in the butt to get out. So that yellow thing, that's our oil. That 
is the dipstick and the fill port. Realize that many of these generators have not been started before they were shipped, so you may need, you will need to check the spark plug, you will need to put in engine oil, which is not included in the box, um, you will need to hook up your battery charger. spark plugs only MGK BPR 6ER 6ES I'm starting to wonder if this kit didn't come with one All right maintenance cover for battery connect battery inside the battery inside is not connected and I will have to connect it before this will start unlock Alright, so this will resist coming off when you unlock it because it's got these little barb plug barbed uh, plug things that go into these grommets and pop out. So I imagine you may have to replace the grommets at some point. Alright, so so here's our non-connected battery cable. So I took the cap off that one. Take the cap off this one. I'm gonna line them up and plug them together. Alright, so. So, you just pop air filter cover off by pulling these two tabs. Apparently, the back will come off with it. Great. There we go. That actually went in a lot easier than I thought it would. Man, it's just a little foam air filter. It came with high altitude parts kits. The carburetor. They're recommending a break in period of 30 hours, not exceeding 75% of the generator's running wattage. Spark plugs. Gets behind this cover. Um, well, I went and got our kit, which is this best little socket set with the drivers on it. It's got hexes, wear drives, R drives, and on the other side it's got sockets up to like 9 sixteenths and a 14 millimeter. And that's the other thing, it does metric and standard. It's a 10. I mean they're snug, but they're not super tight. Put the ratchet on the back. Part of the reason I love this kit. Look at the long bolts. Slides out. There's a spark plug. So it does come with the spark plug. I'm gonna make sure I'm on there right. There's nothing worse than stripping the spark plug. I think it is beyond what that tool can do. I can see it's already damaging the corners of that spark plug. So don't use the included tool for your spark plug. So if you'll notice, the, there's a different size between the spark plug socket and the socket they gave you. And that's why it will strip it out, is because this is too big for that spark plug. The one they gave you is actually bigger than the hex here. The thing that makes a spark plug socket different than any regular socket is there's rubber on the bottom which grabs onto it so it doesn't damage the spark plug when you pull it out. When you do this to check, so to check your spark plug, you're going to need a couple things. You're going to need feeler gauges so you know actually how wide your gap is. Torque wrench, 200 inch pounds or a torque wrench that's under 100 foot pounds that goes all the way to zero. The rule of thumb is the first 10% and the last 10% of a torque wrench is the least accurate part of it. An extension for your torque wrench. This one's probably a little longer than we need. If you want to know how to properly check a torque wrench, uh, put it in the comments and we'll make a video. I grabbed this wobble head wrench to get it out. We'll see how well that works. I don't want to use the extension, that's why I got the wobble head.
Guess we're using the extension. <laughs> It'd be a pain in the butt for. Also, never grab this part, this metal part of your spark plug. Don't ask me why, I don't remember, but never grab the little metal part at the end. So the gap we want on this is between 0 0.024 and 0 0.036. This is a good spark plug. So I'm putting the spark plug back in because it was measuring good. 16, 17, 18. There's 18 foot pounds. So I'm tightening. So we go until it flips. There we go. There's our clip. Now it's torque. And the gap's good. And we're going to put this back on. I'll always start fasteners by hand because you are less likely to strip them that way. Of course I can put it away. So I'm just going to go till snug. I don't want to strip these out. So we have the battery hooked up. We checked the spark plug. We checked the air filter. So we're going to put the cover back on because we're done with this panel. Update on the generator. After we filled it, we couldn't get it to start after we filled it with oil and hooked up the propane. And we thought, oh, the battery must be dead. So we charged the battery for 24 hours and it still didn't start. And it has turned out that our push button start is faulty and we had to manually pull start it on propane. Now, I highly recommend if you get this generator, test it before you need to use it. That way, if you have any faulty parts, you can take it back before the storm hits. We have a year to take ours back, so we're not too worried about getting it back yet, but we are going to return it due to that faulty button. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment below.